How did I get my wooden bag leg, you ask? <laughs> well, let me tell you. It was on a dark and spooky night. On a night just like tonight. Everyone knows that Ardix is a fearless paladin who battles the undead. His trusty battle axe has defeated skeletons, vampires, mummies, daddies. I didn't write that one. Deaf knights, and even knights with normal hearing. <laughs> Get it, Zika's deaf knights. That's <clears throat> in comedy we call that a turn. The ghosts of Frostvale, past, present, and future. And even giant flying toilet gnats. You know, the kind that when you go in an old movie theater urinal, come blasting out the second water hits. Those two. And even giant flying dracoliches. But there are evils that cause even the most hardened undead slayers to shake in their plus one boots. May the fates have mercy on us all. Beline, the pretty, pretty Pinkomancer, and her super adorable army in pink armor and little bows were mere days from taking over the world. Artix was the world's last hope of surviving this pink onslaught. He had already sacrificed so much for the fate of Lore. You heard of Pink Eye. Well, he got Pink Hand. Unable to cope with actually having touched the color pink, Artix did the only reasonable thing. He replaced his hand with a chainsaw! There's only one hope to stop this evil. To obtain an ancient and powerful book. The George Lowe Anomicon. Yeah, that's it. That's what it's called. The George Lowe Anomicon. In the pages of this ancient tome is the tale of a hero from long ago who had stopped the armies of the dreaded Pinkites in their home dimension of Skelokitia. He knew the secret to stopping them must be inside. So he began his search. <laughs> 